What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna take a look at the Goemon Express which is my control sword deck. As we're climbing to double A we actually went on a crazy 13 four game, 14 game win streak with this deck. People seem to really enjoy it on my stream. They wanted to ask about it. People want to see the deck list, see how it works and everything. So uh, in this video I go over the deck, how it functions and everything like that. Let me know if you guys enjoy content like this. If you guys like the video give me a like, give me a sub. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so today we are doing a deck profile on the Goemon Express, which is my control sword. You could call it a uh, mid-range or grinder sword as well. Uh, it is control heavy though. Alright, let's get started. So, in the two drops. Our early game consists of uh, a lot of heal, a lot of early game minions you can play to contest the board early. Right, as a control deck, you fight for the board early, and then you use your late game control cards to finish out the game. So, in our early game, we have Triple Unicorn. This card is great. Not only is it a premium stats for two, but the effect is amazing, right? You get the heal. So, so good against aggro. We have the Lancer, a card that is also similar. Again, uh, also premium stats. The ward is key against aggro as well. And also pretty good in the late game as well. We play the Maid Leader as a Searcher. Because we don't play that many commanders and officers, it means that when you play the Maid, you have a higher chance of getting the one that you want, essentially. And the maid is key in searching out the Aven Blader, which is a key component in this deck. We also play the other maid as well, which honestly, it's okay. It's just ma mainly there for the curb. Just gives you an early minion you can play. And uh, it is searchable by the Aven Blader, of course. We, we play Triple Swing, just a solid removal card in the early game, you know, against a lot of things that are great. You want to have the two damage. Uh, deals with things like Forte, uh, Trinity Dragon, just uh, all around a good card, great card. We play Healing Angel for the heal as well. Again, uh, premium stats for three. It has a heal, right? It's a defensive card. Uh, pretty good three drop. We play one Barrage. Deals with all the Forest Bats, all the 1-1 one -one Fairies, Soldiers. Just a solid card. Also gives you one burst damage, which sometimes matters. We play Double Assassin as a removal. This card is, again, searchable. Also a great card. Uh, double Paladin. Paladin is a great card as well. Uh, pretty defensive card. You see a trend here where we play a slow game really defensive stuff this deck should be good against aggro in the four drop we play triple fencer because we're playing sword and why would we not play triple fencer i only play one aurelia but uh it's pretty solid then we play triple aiming blader which is the key card in this deck this card is the card that essentially makes the deck function uh, it gives you a body on the board but also searches you for two cards lets you grind the game out gives you the card advantage you need to close out the game as a control game as a control deck we play Double Stage Commander, a card that I think is a little underrated. I think this card is great. Uh, what this deck does, essentially, you control the board, and you do that by developing a strong board yourself. Stage Commander lets you use your lead to push for it. So, having a Stage Commander to close out games, get excellent trades, I think this card is great. We play Triple Otohime again because we're a sword, we're a control deck. It's Otohime, you gotta play three of them, right? Uh, one Tsubaki has removal. We do play Double Assassin like I said before, so uh, I don't think any more Tsubakis are needed, but uh, one Tsubaki is solid and it's a great card for sure. I only play one Alwitas myself. It does give you three burst damage, but uh, the deck is not really face oriented or anything like that. Alwitas is also solid as a defensive card. It's a pretty good card in general, but I tend to like the uh, we tend to like the Stage Commander better, although Alwitas is still a very good card. We also play Double General, which is an, uh, again another great defensive card, right? The Double Ward crucial and slowing games down comes down in the late game when your opponent wants to just push for that final that final burst of damage great card we play one lucifer for the heal uh, also has that offensive potential with the evos lucifer is a great card i'm a big fan of it and uh, we do play one lucifer as well as one odin for the seraph the mordecai just all sort of things that uh being able to odin is great i definitely like running odin as a one-off we play one alexander because we are a control deck and we don't have a board clear so alexander kind of functions as a pseudo board clear he's a great card definitely like alexander and then we top out we want olivia just to give us that late game push because again we are a slow control deck so there you have it guys that is the goemon express hope you guys enjoy the deck thank you guys for watching 